When I travel, I like to pack extremely light. Just me and whatever I can fit in my rather large backpack. I've spent the last couple of weeks visiting family and friends after our states loosened up on COVID restrictions. And with the fall and winter coming up, I'm hoping that many of you get to visit your loved ones and spend some quality time together. These are just a few of the games that I always include in my tabletop travel pack. You're watching Mr. Board Gamer, the hobbyist on a mission to make tabletop gaming more accessible to black folks, inspired by blurs everywhere. Appreciate you for watching. Hive by John Yanni is a deep strategy game that isn't bound to any board or table. Players take control of a swarm of bugs, each of them moving in their own unique ways. The goal of the game is to surround your opponent's queen bee without breaking the hive or allowing your bee to be surrounded. Folks who love turn-based strategy games will appreciate this pocket-sized war game that's all about cornering and outwitting your opponent. Some of these games get down to the wire with every bug on the table and your queen bee hightailing it out of danger. But there are so many ways to win and only one objective. You'll hear this a lot about certain games. Easy to learn, difficult to master. In Hive, I've seen everything from first time players taking huge wins to lengthy stalemates that end with both players be surrounded in the same turn. It can be played on any flat surface, which makes it the perfect travel game for any occasion. Control is a trick-taking card game for up to two to four players by Keymaster Games. In Control, each player is a time traveler racing to fuel up their ship and escape a catastrophic time rift all while sabotaging the other players and denying them fuel. First player to reach 21 fuel points by the end of their turn wins the game. Rounds can take anywhere from five to 10 minutes and even shorter when you get a real understanding of all the cards in the deck. Control offers variety through one-on-one, -on -one, free for all, or team variant gameplay. Again, this game requires nothing but a flat surface to play. The three player free for all variant is by far my favorite way to play control. So my favorite thing to do is manipulate the other players into sabotaging each other while I store up the best cards in my hand and quickly steal the game in a few turns. My absolute favorite game to travel with is Weave, an RPG in a box by Monocle Society. RPGs or role-playing games are a form of interactive storytelling and adventure gaming. Weave takes the best elements of traditional RPGs such as Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder and packages everything in one small box with endless possibilities. Inside the box, you'll find one set of tarot cards, one set of challenge cards, and six custom dice. Monocle Society publishes a free smartphone app where most of the game information is stored and all of the magic begins. If you've ever wanted to see what all the hype was about with Dungeons and Dragons, but you were turned off by the deep fantasy lore of paladins and dragons, or the long setup felt like too much for you to sit through, you must try Weave. Everything from characters to locations and boss fights can be created in literal minutes. All you gotta do is pull a card, scan it into the app, and voila, start your adventure on the go and save your character or plot notes directly into the app for next time. These three games are essential to my travel pack. Easy to store, simple to learn, and most importantly, fun to play again and again. Now, it's your turn. Let me know in the comments what games you like to travel with. Appreciate you for watching, Mr. Board Gamer.